Hey, what's up, everybody? So I want to talk today about this interaction I had on Facebook within like the past hour of me basically arguing with a person who is a Muslim and I'm an atheist. And what really shocks me about this interaction is that it just goes to show that people who follow these religions really do not know what's in their holy books. Um, it, it, it always leaves me baffled when I'm arguing with, you know, either a Muslim or a Christian. Uh, I haven't really argued with anyone who follows like Judaism or Hinduism or any other like major, or like any other religion outside of like Christianity or Islam or whatever. And it just like shocks me when I'm in like the middle of a debate and I just realize like, oh shit, this person actually doesn't know about certain things in their book because they just haven't read it. They haven't really studied up on it. All they've been, you know, taught was that, hey, you're either a Muslim or a Christian, and then that's it. And you're going to just believe in God and do all the little practices here and there. But they really never cracked that book open that they like to hold up in the air and shout at people with. And um, in this conversation, you know, I shared a post about how a lot of, um, you know, black people uh, like to forget that, Islam was also responsible for a lot of slavery that, uh, you know, went on in Africa. And, you know, I basically shared this video. Um, I, I didn't agree with everything in the video, but I agree with most of it. Um, and I said, like, you know, fuck Islam. Uh, ped ped like, they're pedophile worshippers. Um, because that, that's, if, if you are following the teaching, the, excuse me, the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, who is the founder of Islam, then you are by definition following the teachings of a pedophile because Muhammad was a person who married a six-year-old and then fucked her when she was nine. That is by definition a child molesting kitty fucker. I don't know how I don't know other or any other way to put it other than that. And this guy was upset. He's like, excuse me, what the F or whatever. And I was like, I don't like Christianity or Islam. Both have played major roles in human suffering. Well, hate what you want to hate. I don't care. It's your opinion. But what is the word pedophile doing in your uh, post? And I basically explained to him that Muhammad married a six-year-old, fucked her when she was nine. I said, that's a kitty fucker. Dude was going to Toys R Us for wedding gifts. And um, this guy said that, laugh out loud, have fun reading false books. And um, I questioned him saying, well, how old was Aisha when uh, she was married? Still, this guy has not uh, responded. And I said, um, well, I said, you know, I already read the uh, Quran and the Bible. He said, whatever that false book uh, you read, say, bye. And this is a guy who, um, I, I, he's like a student here, but he's from, I want to say, like Saudi Arabia or whatever. So, you know, this is probably some information that he probably hasn't seen, you know, being over there. You know, you come to America or, you know, any other Western country where you have free access to the Internet, you know, this is the kind of shit you're going to, uh, here when you're online because we have freedom of expression and we can say whatever the fuck we want to say and um, You know I, and I told him like you probably never read oh no this is what he said before um, I said this but he said that and he, he, he told me that and yeah Muslims still write camels to work now right then and there he's trying to uh, make this this like equivalency that I think that because I have these, uh, because I, I, I understand the religion of Islam for what it is, and um, you know I'm not sugarcoating what I'm going to say about it. That I'm some so, I'm some sort of like you know extreme right wing, you know Donald Trump fucking fascist or whatever. I'm not. I'm uh, I, I voted for Bernie Sanders. I'm a Democrat and all this stuff. But you know facts are facts, man. And uh, just because someone calls out something in your religion does not, you know, equate it to me believing that people who are Muslims ride camels. I mean, that's fucking silly. You know, that's just some dumb shit that he said. And then I told him, like, you probably never even read the Qurans or Hadiths. I read and comprehend most of them, and I know what is wrong in one time is not necessarily wrong in another, which you apparently are not aware of. And I told him that, but I thought Muhammad was perfect. It was, was getting his stuff directly from a uh, phone line from God. And he said, that's right, too. So marrying a six-year-old is okay. And he told me that you serenize things. If it's not good for your standard, then they are acceptable. So, and, I told, and I asked him, so fucking a child is okay. 
And he said, well, back then maybe it was okay. And I was like, damn, Muhammad uh, must have some pretty low standards, not lower than yours. Well, and I told him that where I'm from, you know, I'm from, uh, you know, the city, I'm from the hood, whatever, right? I said, where I'm from, if you're a child molester, people will shoot and kill you. Like, that, that's how it is out here, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how it is where you're from, but, like, out in these streets, if you fucking tell someone you molested or, you know, whatever to a child, they're going to fucking blow your head off, man. So if Muhammad came to my neighborhood talking about he wants to marry someone on, on a playground or something, you know, we probably want to give him a buck fifty. So, um, and then I told him that, uh, let's see, and then, oh, and then he said, like, after that comment, he said, I'm done. And then he gave, like, a little check mark. And I said, all right, I won. And he's like, ha, 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 clearly you hate more than half of the world's Muslims and Christians. So, yeah, that makes you a winner. Laugh out loud. And this is how I responded. No, I don't hate the people. I hate the nonsense they believe in. You are unable to articulate an argument. And this guy is literally trying to say that because I am criticizing or, you know, I don't, I don't know, like arguing what's in these holy books that I'm somehow a bigot. I, I don't understand that. All, all I'm doing is just saying what is in these books. If you don't like what's in these books, then you probably shouldn't follow it. You know, it, it, it's, not, it's not a lie that Muhammad was a caravan uh, raider and then he moved up to bigger targets like conquering Mecca. Like, that's how Islam spread throughout Arabia and then throughout Northern Africa and Spain and like Southern France and they got turned back around like midway through uh, France, whatever. But it's like, that's how they conquered like most of the Middle East and Northern Africa and like parts of Europe. It's because of warfare. Christianity is the same fucking way. Whoever didn't want to listen to them, they burned them at the stake. <laughs> and then, oh, you're going to love this shit right here. And he, he basically said that, you know, in 19, or 1396, Richard II of England was joined in marriage to young Isabella of France, who is uh, seven years old when their engagement was announced uh, previous year in France. Not only was there no uproar, there was a considerable uh, happiness expressed over the assumed probability this marriage would end the Hundred Years' War, blah, 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 blah. Peace was to be ensured by joining together. And then he basically, and then he said that, well, did this make the English and French pedophiles too? And I responded saying that Muslims are not race, their adherence to a religion. Also, the French and British don't worship, you know, monarchs who have been dead for hundreds upon hundreds of years. Um, and I told him that, you know, you're doing mental gymnastics to defend a pedophile. <laughs> it's just, and then he keeps he keeps going back to the point that, you know, he keeps saying that this act was socially acceptable during that time, and if it was not, then people of that time would uh, have been against it. And I told him that once again, if Mo was getting his shit from God, then obviously his standards of morality would be to that of the day, but obviously not. And he said laugh out loud, and also war crimes are just as bad as the Quran as they are in the Bible. And uh, let's see. Well, up to, and he's basically, uh, and it says, and, um, and then what else did I say? No, Muhammad was a caravan bandit who uh, moved on a bigger targets, and I said that, yeah, but I'm not following or worshiping someone who does these things, because he keeps saying that, oh, well, you know, that's how they did it back then, but I'm not worshiping someone like, like George Washington who owns slaves or something. You know, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not basing my life based on the inspirations or teachings of someone, you know, over a thousand years ago who did fucked up shit. I'm just not, I'm, I'm you know, I'm a free thinking person and that's how I roll. But, you know, once again, I believe that everyone has a right to choose uh, what they want to believe in as long as it does not uh, affect the rights or, how can I say it? You're able to believe in whatever nonsense you want to believe in as long as you don't force someone else to believe or follow the teachings or guidelines of that said religion. So, you know, you can believe that fucking Muhammad flew in the clouds on a, on, a, on a unicorn or something like that, and you can believe that, that's fine. But in the realms of facts and reality, that's just nonsense and bullshit, and yeah, there's nothing else to say. And if your feelings are hurt by that, well, hey, guess what? I don't give a fuck. And that's all I have to say. Peace. <laughs>